pay for my hair for me to go out with another man and he wants my money now initially i was going to give him back the money because it's not like i didn't know how he was like during our entire four years of being together i would try not to take gifts or money from him because the slightest argument we have he would want by the gift and he would want by the money i never received a birthday oh my god yeah as i was saying i never received a birthday gift from him before like never um so i knew it was possible for him to ask me back for the money so i was going to give him back the money but then he continued being disrespectful so i blocked him and he sent us a video to his sister saying that if i don't send back his money he's going to um make a youtube video and embarrass me publicly da -da -da -da, he wants back his money i didn't pay it any mind i didn't answer lies i unblocked him and i said you know what i'm not going to give you back the money because I spent way more than this on you and I never once I never once up to this day talking money oh I did this for you I did that for you you have this with never like I have morals that's not a part of my morals right and after that everything went silent for like two weeks everything went silent for like two weeks I sent him those messages and I blocked him he was silent I get a call from my mother and she's furious she's like this young man called me and he's saying that the daughter I raised isn't the daughter that I think she is so I'm like what are you I'm so confused at this point first thing he told her is that he buys my grocery monthly that does not make any sense because when we were together he was literally living paycheck to paycheck there were some months where he couldn't even afford to pay his rent his rent buy grocery and have pocket money so it, it wasn't adding up right yeah so him telling my mother that basically implied that the money that my parents were sending me for grocery monthly i was doing something else with it like i was so evil to be taking money monthly from my parents and still having him buy my groceries and I was like this isn't I don't know it's literally not, I don't know then he went on to tell her that I always have access to his account and he allowed that so whenever I needed money I could just go and take money off the card that that wasn't the part that hurt me the most he told my mother that i took fifteen thousand dollars from the account it moved from six to fifteen so at this point i'm i'm, I'm literally in disbelief my mother is telling me and he manipulated her he convinced her like she was mad at me and i was just in disbelief like i couldn't believe the words that were coming from my mother's mouth so i was like listen add him to the call she called she tried calling him on a three-way couple times and he didn't answer so i said okay hang up and call him then add me to the call and that's how we ended up on a three-way call we ended up arguing on the call in front of my mother and he even used curse words and i was like listen you can't be using curse words on the call my mother that's disrespectful he was going to be like oh if your mother wasn't on the car you'd be cursing yes but i have respect if his mother was on the call i wouldn't be cursing that's the point anyways the car got heated and it ended he called back my mother because i'm guessing he didn't get the satisfaction that he wanted from telling her that or maybe it's the fact that he didn't expect her to make a three-way call because i was literally asking him the questions i was like 
I took fifteen thousand dollars from your account. He was like, oh, it's 12. So I moved from 6 to 15 to 12. I was like, okay, prove it. He doesn't know how to prove it. So I said, okay, give me the access to your account. I can prove it. I can prove it. He doesn't want that. So the call ended. He called back my mother after not being satisfied. And he told her, I used the money to take a man on a date. I took out the man and I spent on the man and the date was just on me with that money. Yeah, so him telling my... Anyways, I'm going to try and wrap this up in the next two videos because I have places to be and things to do. This, this, this is for people who don't have a job, don't have any hobbies, don't have anything to do. I don't have time for this. Anyways, he called back my mother. He told her that I took the man on a date. He didn't stop there. He told her, he disclosed secrets, like, we were together for four years, of course we have secrets, of course he knows my secrets, I know his secrets. He disclosed secrets to my mother. He didn't stop there either. He went on to tell her, I have a sugar daddy, and I went skinny dipping with this sugar daddy, and I have a video of me naked in the front seat of this gray-headed man's car and he told my mother that i showed him it that didn't make sense why would i show my boyfriend because he was my boyfriend at the time me naked in front of another man's car then the story twisted and he started saying i told his little sister this and I showed her the video. That still didn't make sense because why would I tell my boyfriend's sister that I have a sugar daddy and why would I show her a video of me naked in another, in another man's car? It just wasn't adding up. It wasn't adding up. So, my mother shut it down. She was like, listen, I don't want to hear anything. Let's just end this. Let's just leave this alone. Like, end it. Forget about it. I'll send you back the money. I told my mother, listen, don't send him back the money. Don't. I told my mother not to send him back the money. Again, he didn't get the satisfaction that he needed from making those stuff up and telling her. So he went to the internet. He started posting that, oh, I have a 52-year-old sugar daddy. And then he started saying, I called him crying and begging him to take me back but I have emails and I have messages to prove otherwise he literally he's been doing this for eight whole months he's going live he's making videos saying oh he even has pictures to show me crying yes he has pictures of me crying because I had to do a surgery and in that moment in time when I found out the only two persons on this planet I wanted to talk to was my mother and this human being that was supposed to be my person even though we weren't together. Anyways, I'm going to try and wrap this up in the next We weren't together but all I wanted to hear was his voice at that time. I unblocked him, I called him, he answered, I was on the phone crying. He was consoling me. We were we were talking. We spoke for like two days, right? And at one point he said, I only unblocked him to use him. So I blocked him back and I decided that I wasn't like it doesn't matter what, I would never ever unblock him. He sent a message to his sister, which I still have, saying Oh, it's not fair that I get to use him and he doesn't get to use me because he's available to me whenever I want and that's not the case for him so I unlocked him and again we spoke on the phone and then I thought about it I was like so we're only using each other or you're using me because that wasn't my intention that was not my intention I just wanted comfort in that moment So that was that. I think that's everything wrapped wrapped in a bubble. That was the last 
interaction and this interaction wasn't after the whole him calling my mother this was before so I called him crying before this whole money thing became a thing right so that's everything wrapped in a bubble in conclusion mentally you're not okay maybe emotionally and it's okay not to be okay but the method that you're choosing to heal it's far from healthy and it's hurting others your behavior literally makes you seem delusional and obsessed i mean you always told me that you were obsessed with me but it's time to move on i get that the relationship ended might have triggered your abandonment issues or even some mommy issues but this is the bed that you made and now you have no choice but to lay in it. So for the last time, I'm begging you, Kimani, please, 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 please leave me alone. Stop posting about me. Stop going on lives. Stop making videos. Stop telling. Just, just stop. Just be mature about it and let me be. I moved on. I am happy. At this point, I really think that you need to seek help, you need to speak to somebody because what you're doing is not healthy. It's been eight months. I'm trying to move on with my life. Can you please leave me alone? And I don't want you to continue this because then I'll, I'll have to post screenshots, I'll have to post videos, everything that you're doing, I'll have to do just the same. Please stop.